Welcome back to Let's Play EG. I'd like to point out that there's a lot of things that can go wrong when you're doing this, and this is taking a lot more effort than I thought. Uh, this is my sixth attempt at this, or so. Last time I killed somebody, and I'm not really sure how. Hi, Dan again. Uh, just kind of a real quick recap on what we're doing. Oh, yeah, war t wartime negotiations, you know how it goes. Uh, nano machines. Okay, so if you ever see something that requires a stat of 15 to break or get past, you can't. Um, your max stat is 10, you will never be able to get past a 15, so that's just there to, to let you know that's impregnable. So here, a bit of a tutorial on cracking, like hacking, sort of. It's pretty easy. You hit it once and you see it requires security, or this is security one, so it requires a crack level of one in order to open this door. Or to attempt to crack it. And then you just have to navigate a little bit a little bit of a maze. You're in the upper left, you gotta go to the lower right, you cannot go backwards. So there we go. A security box, good stuff in it. You can blow these up, please don't. And the Resonance Detonator. This is going to be our bread and butter in this run. Not right now, because it doesn't really do a lot right now. But it will be later on. Oh, and you can also crack enemies, though you need a crazy high na uh, crack stat for it. So the Resonance Detonator, it's effectively a kick. Really. Let's see, I'm going to get one point of health because I'm pretty squishy right now. And that's our last log, and this is our last tutorial thing. This is a funny little device that you can use to combine weapons and get new weapons. You don't lose the originals, so you don't have to worry about that. And this is super cool, and we can't use it yet because I don't have the crack points to do anything with it. So we'll get to that when we get to it. Okay, so we got a big guy over here, but I kind of want that, so I'm going to take it. And later, loser. Okay, so next up, I want what's in that box, but that guy over there is going to be a butt. So I'm just going to stand here and jump for a second. I hope he turns around. Can you turn around? Guy? 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 Blue dude? Oh my goodness, this guy. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna eat the hit and run over here and do this. So as long as you don't get um stun as long as you don't get the little stun lock thing, you are cool to keep doing crap while you're getting hit. Okay, there I made it up. We're safe, we're good. I'm gonna try something with this guy. Let's just do this. Aha! I still have zero kills. I didn't kill him! So it don't count. I just kind of knocked him in the general direction of something that may explode when he touches it. And that's kind of what I meant before where, yeah, we're not gonna be killing people, but we're gonna be Killing people. And yeah, these these lips, man, just a little platform that goes up and down, that crap looks dangerous. And th for those of you who have seen my Hero Core Let's Play, you may remember the Sirataco. Huh. This is the game it's from! Okay, so I'm gonna grab that and then just bugger off. I cannot jump high enough to get up top. So we'll have to come back to that. But meanwhile, we move the lift up. So we can hop down here. And we move this lift up so we can go down here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a whole bunch of points in Tayson. So I can grab this. 
Technically, I don't need that, but I figure I might as well grab it, and the only reason to wait is... Well, I don't really have a reason to wait. So this is something I don't think I especially mention, but um, I think I tried to. But for the different um, kind of runs you can do, pacifist, normal, or uh, more genocidal run, your vocal lines and dialogue reflect your mental state, so to say. So you'll stay very pacifist and timid to the end of the game if you don't kill anybody. But if you just go on a murderous rampage by the end of the game, you just hate everybody and want to kill everything. And this affects a lot of things, not just the dialogue, but like random text boxes you find around reflect this. It reflects um, characters you can interact with, some story. It actually changes quite a bit. Can't grab that, so I'm gonna keep going. So I cannot jump up there right yet, and we cannot go to the left, so I'm gonna go this way. Okay, so he's effectively talking about this little glowy thing. Um, talk, uh, touching it gives you a random buff, I guess you could say. And some of them are better than others, but the one the at least the category of ones you get do reflect on what state you are so far um i'm pacifist so far so i'm going to be getting the more pacifistic abilities and depending on which ability i get i may not be able to read this one so i'm going to check this real quick or checkpoints for some reason it's not like a die and you reload, it's if you die by accident, you get teleported here, your health filled up, and you pick up right where you left off. So you never actually died or left the game or anything, but it's also gone after one use. Alright, let's see, what do I get? Ah, no armor damage. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit tricky. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to hop over here. Turret defenses, like that turret we saw over there. So they'll only shoot at me, they will not hurt um, the Tayson. However, you can just kick the top off of them. Now when I walked over top, I released some of these little goo guys on the bottom, and the goo guys on the bottom, I uh, killed those guys for me, so that's cool beans. I'm just gonna leave that uh, turret B. Still zero kills. I'm gonna leave the turret B because I think I may have... It may have counted as a kill when I kicked a turret into a dude. I'm not really sure, though. Okay, so I gotta keep going this way. This is gonna be a fun room because I don't have any kind of buff or anything. So I just get to run and hope and try not to die. Ow! I made it. I did it. I'm here. Oh man, jump plus one! Uh, not a double jump, just jump height increase, so whoosh, whoosh! Then I'm gonna go into this conveniently placed duct. Oh, we see another ribbon. Um, thing with the ribbons is they will only show up in subsequent levels if you got them in the previous levels. So like, if I didn't get the one in the first level, this one wouldn't even be. Yeah, focus, forward, go! Okay, so this next room is going to be a little bit tricky, and let's hope I don't die. Let's see, I want to go over here and I'll grab this. Then I want to go over here and activate this turret. Let it shoot its rocket, go over here. And then rocket jump up here! Grab that health. So in or there's a teleporter on the left side of the room, but the teleporter takes you somewhere I don't want to be right now. The only way up here is by rocket jumping, but you get something fancy for it. Uh, the elevator here just takes you back to the beginning, of all places. Not really a lot down here for us at the moment, so I'm gonna hop up here. Ah, oh, crap. I did it, I made it, I'm alive. 
the rocket blew himself up. Oh, this dude died too. Still zero kills, so I don't care. Okay, so I don't remember how many points in Tayson I need, but I think that's all I need, and then I can get the rocket launcher. So if we'd taken that teleporter back in the previous room, it would have brought us right here. And there is from here no way to get back to the left to get that rocket launcher. So, um, we have a rocket launcher now. You have to do the rocket jump to get to the rocket launcher. But with the rocket launcher, we can go down here and shoot a rocket. Which lets us over here. You may remember this guy. Um, we just kind of passed by this earlier because we couldn't get up here, but now we can jump high enough. Grab that and a supercharge. That's all we need right now. Um, we're level 9, so we're almost at the level cap. Just a little bit more and we'll hit the level cap. I don't know how to get over there. Maybe if I lure a guy over here and rocket jump up there or something. Okay, so um, I have two points to put into something, and I'm going to put those two points in crack. And that is for a reason we will be seeing very shortly. In fact, I could just go to the third one right now, but I'm not gonna. I made it. Okay, I don't think he can rocket through that. I don't know, this sounds like these Tayson are having a rough time. Like, the guy's all business. All business, all go. Like, whatever, just go. Okay, so funny thing now is EG is actually really angry right now, and all of her vo voice lines are have been replaced by her more genocidal voice lines for the rest of the level. I'm still sitting at zero kills, though. Now, I put three points in crack. Well, I put two points in crack. And that is actually enough to crack this door. Hey! Nano machine. And this also sort of explains why uh, collision damage is a thing. And hopefully we don't see more of that later, because that sounds horrible. Okay, so we're max level. I'm going to put one more point in crack. And then we're going to use this device. So I mentioned you can combine weapons. You do not lose the original weapons in doing this, so it's pure... You get cool stuff. So let's combine the shotgun with the resonance detonator. And then we actually have to crack in order to get it. So... And now we get the resonance reflector. Now this is gonna be our bread and butter. So this is, uh, you can, so it doesn't re, it does not, um, consume ammunition, 
and it does not replace your original weapon, so you can just select it and go. Real quick pulse, but it reflects attacks back. And those reflected attacks do not count as kills. Okay, so I completely skipped this whole area that you have to go through up top here. I'm gonna take a look in it, but I'm not gonna spend a lot of time up here. So there's a couple duders, duders here, and a turret. Bypass them. He's getting angry. Little bit of health, nothing fancy. Um, this, as far as I can tell, doesn't do anything. But you can crack this door. And then there's a fancy thing up here. What is he doing? Get ammo when damaged. Okay, so I don't want to go any further with, um, for risk of actually getting myself killed or ruining this run. So I'm going to hold back, but the short of it is at the end of that hallway, I think there's a switch that it either triggers this switch or triggers the door down below or something. I'm not messing with it, so I'm not going to. Going to do a little damage there. You know, maybe that one didn't work because I cracked the door down below, at which point I don't know what's at the end of that room up top. Not worth the trouble. So we're just going to continue on. Oh yeah. He's just angry. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with this because I don't know if it counts as a kill or not. Now I'm not going to risk it. I am going to go over here and take a little bit of damage. And then I'm going to change to the rocket launcher and get us another little secret. Hop past this guy, get my sorry butt kicked by everything. Oh, you sack of garbage! And so that's where the poster was. I don't even know what's in that thing in there. It doesn't matter though, I'm at maximum level, so I, there couldn't be anything in there that I want. I'm gonna crack this because I can. At full experience cap, and here we are at the end of the level. So aside from the mishap with the poster, which I'm sure in post I've gone back and showed you what is actually there, that'll do it for Sector 2. We collected the ribbon, we collected the supercharge, we sort of collected the poster, um, we're max level, and we're still at zero kills. Could be dangerous. <laughs>